Speaking of Russell Wilson, there is a picture out there where he has his hat on backwards. It's in a practice uniform, and he probably just walked out of the locker room, and he's got a hat on backwards, probably a walkthrough before a game, and everybody's like, oh, Colin, Russell Wilson's got his hat on backwards. You can wear your hat on backwards. I, I. Yesterday, at the very end of my show, I talked about wearing your hat on backwards, and uh, f- fans ripped me. It was very hurtful. I did not sleep last night. Barely closed my eyes. It was very painful. But I'm going to double down on something I've always believed. And when I saw Carson Wentz with his hat on backwards af- after another bad performance and bad loss, standing in front of the proud Eagles um, you know, banner, uh, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. Let me just ask you something. Because I believe in life, time and place and location and assignment matter. There are certain things you just wouldn't wear if you were introduced to the Pope or the President. Time, place, location, assignment matters. If you want to wear a hat on backwards, in your garage, in your yard... If you want to wear it at the beach, at the gym, in your car, I don't care. Never, never really care. In fact, joy is my witness. I don't care if you ever wear it backwards as a baseball player, as a basketball player. I mean, baseball players wear hats all the time. What do I care? I don't even care if you wear it backwards as a linebacker in football, a cornerback, a receiver, a tight end, an offensive lineman. I don't care. I don't care. But if you are a quarterback and you have your once a week podium discussion and the organization and the Philadelphia Eagles are brilliantly owned, respectfully built, smartly designed, and you have the Eagles banner behind you with a major corporate sponsor, Toyota, behind you, and you're telling me this for a $5 billion face of the franchise is no different than this. I think you're wrong. I'll totally double down. Let me speak slowly. Time matters. Location matters. Assignment. Let me give you a person. I don't know him. He's very popular on the interweb. His name is Dave Portnoy. He created Barstool Sports. He's very edgy. can be very, very funny. He's very talented. Barstool Sports attacked me yesterday. Very hurtful. This is... You know, I, I've got children. You have to be nicer to me. Uh, they just ravaged me yesterday. So Dave Portnoy is this very b- raw, you know, Hawaiian shirts, sometimes no shirts, authentic, in your face. I don't care about anybody. It's very effective. But it is interesting that a month ago he interviewed the president. And he wore a suit. And he was a real professional. And he was respectful, and he didn't swear. It's almost as if, kids, assignment matters, location matters, time matters. Most of you won't be as successful as Carson Wentz or Dave. So maybe you just don't get it. But when you stand in front as the face of the franchise, don't care if you're Ken Griffey, you're a baseball player, what do I care? I don't care if you're a hockey guy. I don't care if you're in your yard, your gym, a bar, on a date. I don't care if you wear your hat on backwards. I don't care. I've worn it in my garage. I've worn it in my yard. But on that weekly podium, you are standing in front of the logo, a major spot. Do you know how much you have to pay as a sponsor to get Dak in front of that logo on Tuesday? They have a casino in Dallas. They pay millions of Millions of dollars. Do you know how much Toyota pays to be to get that logo, that sponsorship? It's not about wearing the hat. It's about the symbolism and the respect. It's why Dave wore a suit at the White House. Because assignment matters. It's the president. Like him or not, it's the president. Time, location, situation, place. You don't wear a hat on backwards meeting the Pope. You don't interviewing the president. And I believe you don't as a franchise quarterback in that weekly press conference, especially after a loss in which you were awful. Because I'm already questioning your judgment. You want to look like a frat boy? Go for it. Go for it. Ah, it's not me. It's not my football team. Bengals beat you this weekend 0 for 3. Wear two hats backwards. What do I care? I'm just thinking. You're not going to pressure me into believing that time, place, assignment, location don't matter. Hell yes, they matter. You meet with your boss 
it's different than meeting with the intern. You meet with the president, it's different than meeting with a local lobbyist. And you stand at that podium as a quarterback, 0-2, logo, advertisers, you're trying to send a message. Remember Tom Brady in New England used to do the Monday radio show in Boston? Do you remember that? He didn't do it for money. Tom Brady never did that for money. Why did Tom Brady do the morning press conference for years in Boston radio? Got paid enough, probably got paid a thousand bucks a hit, two thousand. The guy's worth seven hundred million dollars. He did it to spread the message for the week. That he and Belichick arrive at a message and he is spreading the message for the week. If they lost, optimistic. If they won, we've got a lot to work on. It was symbolic. It was irrelevant. He didn't need the money. He did it for symbolism as the face of the franchise. This is the message Bill and I want going forward. I'm doubling down on that hat thing. Wear it in your garage. Just not as a franchise quarterback at the podium. Blazing five next. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.